Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. I'm Dee Slater with createwithd.com and today I have a super cute little treat holder for you. It uses these little candies that um, you can find in the holiday section. You get about eight of them for a dollar. So a cute little Santa. And I wanted to make a little matchbook holder for him to be in. A cute little party favor, um, teacher gift, or even, you know, for your coworkers. Let's get started making this cute little project. What we're going to need is a piece of garden green cardstock, and this is cut at six and a half by two and a quarter. And I have it scored at two and three fourths, at three, and at six. Also, what we're going to need is a piece of two pieces of designer series paper. This is cut at two by two and a half, and two pieces of basic black cardstock. This is cut at two and an eighth by two and five eighths. And then also um, any embellishments that you wanna have. I'm using um, the sold out embellishment pack from Santa's Workshop, but you can use whatever you might have in your stash. And then you're also going to need the smallest oval die from the layering ovals to cut out our little window for Santa. So with our bone folder, we'll go ahead and we'll get crisp edges on our matchbook and how this is going to go together is that we'll staple right down here and then this will tuck into it like a traditional matchbook so this flap right here is going to be the top of our um, matchbook so with some multi-purpose glue we want to go ahead and add our layering piece now with the Big Shot, you can go ahead and die cut all three of these layers. Um, on my Big Shot, it's tight, but it's not super tight. And so um, I can do all three layers. So I put again some multi-purpose glue. I know that this is the flap. And I'm gonna put glue just on the outer edges. Because when we die cut the center, um, you know, it's okay not to have it um, have glue on it. And just center it on that flap. And now let's bring in the Big Shot. As you can see here on my sample, that when I die cut, I did not die cut right in the center of this. Because one, um, this part right here is going to be tucked in. And two, um, Santa needs to peek through and you want him to kind of be a little higher. So don't center your oval um, on the paper. You want to go ahead and just make it slightly high. So again, it's off center with it going high. And we'll run it through the Big Shot. And what I like to do is run it through two passes. So there's one, two, three, and four. So basically just back and forth twice. And then when you get this, like um, you can see, you might think like, gosh, it didn't die cut, but just pop it and it'll pop right out for you. Don't throw away this little piece just yet. We're going to use it for the back of our, um, of our little treat holder. Now I'm going to do a little stamping on the back here. So again, this is going to be the back side of it. And I'm using the two in the front from Signs of Santa stamp set and Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we'll get those inked up. And just kind of off center it just a tad. Two in front. I liked to line the inside of there. It's this project is super great to use up some of your scraps that you might have left over from your Santa's Workshop designer series paper. Um, and also, um, a little would go a long way of your designer series paper if you wanted to make a bunch of these. Now, for this little layering piece, um, you'll want to go ahead and position it towards the top of the fold. It's not going to be center because that's going to fold up. Okay, oh my gosh, it's almost together already. 
Then you can take a, just a standard stapler if you like. If you have a mini stapler, that would work too. And you just go ahead and staple the bottom of that. So we've just made our little matchbook that will tuck in there. Now it's to put Santa in there. I think the easiest way to put Santa in our little peekaboo window on the matchbook is just to grab our, our um, glue dots. And you can pick up one just directly from Santa, put one on his head. Let's see here, there's the next one. And grab one for the bottom of his feet. And then I'm just going to lightly lay him down for a second before I press. And I can put him, move him over where I want him to be on the window. Just a little bit more. And then press down. And you can move him just a little bit. But now what you've got, oh my gosh, how stinking cute is our Santa. He is so cute. He's peeking out. This paper is perfect for this little chocolate look. You've got the little elves around him working. And, you know, there's Santa with whatever he's holding on the candy. To decorate the bottom here, I did use the embellishments from Santa's Workshop. Now, these have sold out. We can't get them anymore. But if you were um, lucky enough and wise enough to get them early, um, these would work perfectly as little embellishments down below. And if not, it's no big deal. What you can do is make a little bow out of some baker's twine. And, you know, we can put a little bow right there. Super cute. Now, I said to go ahead and hang on to this little piece here. So we have one more quick thing. And, you know, instead of throwing it away or whatever, like what you could do is we'll go ahead and just go ahead and put this down. just to kind of repurpose that so we didn't have to throw it away. Cute little thing, cute, cute, cute. Oh my gosh, we made these at my team meeting. At our team meeting yesterday, we had a theme of a shoebox swap with a treat holder. So um, if you like all of the dimensions and writing and want to visit my blog, you can, as well as see all of the awesome stuff that my teammates made for our um, shoebox swap yesterday at our meeting. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy this little treat holder and that you give this little matchbook treat holder a try. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at d at createwithd.com and visit my website at createwithd.com. And if you like this video, please like my video channel. Have a great day, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.